Hello everybody! So, I'm Lily. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first video ever seeing my face on your laptop, screen, phone, whatever, hi! I go to Saginaw Valley State University. I'm gonna be a sophomore there. I'm having the time of my life, honestly. So, subscribe. I'll take you along with vlogs, videos like this, lots of try-on hauls, things like that. I post whatever you can imagine. Today, I'm going to be answering questions that my guy followers are too scared to ask girls. I put on my Instagram story two times. Whoever identifies as a male, please tell me what you are too afraid to ask girls. So I can answer it for you so you don't have to ask them. So that is basically what this video is. You've probably seen this all over TikTok, YouTube, the internet, you know. Uh, I'm just hopping along because I thought it would be fun. So let's just get right into it. I'm having a great Thursday. I um, hope you are too. Just posted an Instagram picture, so go follow me on Instagram before we get started. So next video I have, you can be included in it. Okay, um, somebody from my high school actually said, Is being nice and caring actually seen as less attractive sometimes? Wait. Is being nice and caring actually seen as less attractive sometimes than not caring? Okay, so is being like a nice guy less attractive than being like a, I don't know what you would call it, an F boy? It really just depends. For me, I really do like nice guys, but at the same time, if they're too nice, it like scares me away a little bit. And I feel like that's the same for a lot of girls, at least my age. I'm 18, if you didn't know. Yeah, I feel like that's a tricky, tricky subject because I do know a lot of girls that go for awful guys, and I really don't know why. But I feel like I go for nice guys. And I also do know people that do go for nice guys. Nice and caring wins in my book unless you are way too nice and caring and it gets like clingy, if that makes sense. I feel like that's a good answer. It's definitely different for every girl, just how every guy has their own preference, but that's what I would say to that. Jared Jurgens isn't scared to say anything, Lily. Come on. Okay. Someone from my school said... Do girls even want good guys anymore or is anyone just trying to get a high body count? That kind of goes along with the one I just did, but I would say I don't think anyone is like, yes, let me get my body count high. Like, I don't think that's in anyone's mind, if I'm going to be completely honest. Like, no one has that goal in their head to get a huge body count. If you do, like, you do you. But I don't know many people that would actually think that. By the way, I'm saying this guy, this guy, because I told them I would do it anonymous. Don't wanna, don't wanna expose any people out here. But he said, why the f girls wear so much makeup looking like a powder donut? Um, I don't know. <laughs> to feel confident, but also a lot of people just do it for fun. Even people that aren't girls, they like to do makeup for fun. Um, it's a way to show your personality through art that you are wearing on your face. It's just like how guys will pick out a really cool outfit and like flex on everyone, you know? It's just like girls putting on a bunch of makeup so they can flex on everyone because that's what they enjoy. <laughs> I hope that was what you wanted to hear. Somebody said, does having big boobs hurt? Well, if you don't know... I can't answer that question. <laughs> um, I mean, I will answer that question for you guys, but it's just letting you know it's not from my own experience, sadly. Yes, they do. That's what I've heard, at least. One of my best friends, Isabel, sorry, I'm kind of exposing her, but 
she always like tells me about it how she wants to get a breast reduction and stuff like that like it's actually it actually is hard to live with it's not just like cute and like for guys like it's actually sound sounds like it is actually hard to live with and I couldn't even like imagine like I feel like that would hurt your back so bad okay this one's a good one what's a good way to tell a girl you just want to be friends with benefits with them without getting mad what you don't do if you just want to be friends with benefits with somebody is you don't just act like an f boy because you're gonna ruin your friendship with them if you want to be friends with benefits you should communicate that like tell them like what are we they'll either say friends with benefits or you can ask them like if you want to be friends with benefits you know Definitely have to have that conversation to make sure everyone's on the same level so you don't ruin a friendship and you don't feel stupid, you know? This guy said, how to approach a girl on Instagram, DMs, reacting to a story, etc. So for me, I do have a lot of messages that I haven't responded to so for someone that is like an influencer I guess I would say you definitely have to come up with something good to get their attention I know not everyone is an influencer so if you are friends with them you're following each other that is a good start if you're following each other then you won't get like shunned into like the request section of the DMs so definitely get her to follow you back. That's a start. And then I would definitely like her pictures. Don't like like all of them, but like as she posts them, be sure to be one of her likers. Girls do look at who likes their pictures. Literally, like I'm not trying to brag, but like I get a couple of thousand likes on each picture and I still will go through and see who likes it that I'm also following. Maybe I'm like a simp or something, but like I want to know who is liking my pictures, you know? But come up with something creative, but not too corny to like slide into her DMs. If it's someone that goes to like your school or something, it might you might not have to do that. You could just be like, hey, what's your snap? Just something really chill. But if you're trying to get someone's attention, like come up with something good that's not too cheesy maybe like run it by with the boys like hey do guys do that be like hey i want to dm this girl does this sound good because like i feel like girls would definitely do that i don't know if guys do that that's a good question that's my question for you guys watching someone said signs to know when a girl likes you this is tough because once again everyone's different i would definitely say when she is going out of her way to talk to you make plans with you say you're in college and you aren't really good friends before you start hanging out if all of a sudden she like wants to hang out with you you like go to party together you like pregame together or like do like things like that together that you never have until you started like communicating that could definitely be a sign also obviously just like flirting but that's also tough because it's hard when say you are flirting with a girl it's tough because like the girl doesn't want to just like be mean so she might flirt back so honestly that's if she flirts first that is when you probably have a clue and then you guys start hanging out and she gets closer to you, like physically closer. And she goes out of your her way to see you, goes out of her way to like call you or um, she'll ask for your opinion on stuff like outfits or like what she should do, stuff like that. I feel like that is a very good sign that she's starting to like you. This one kind of... I'm just going to say it because I feel like I'm going to rant about it, but he said, why do you use your bodies as means of receiving attention and then get upset when you are used for it? I don't use my body as a way to get attention. I use my body as making myself like feel confident. Like I love myself. So I obviously post pictures of myself on Instagram. I worked hard for this body that I have, so I post pictures on Instagram because I'm in love with it. Like, I 
love myself, I'm confident in my body, that is why I'm going to be showing my body to the world. Obviously not like my body, but like, yeah, I'm gonna post pictures on Instagram or like go wear something cute that shows a little skin when I'm going out. Like, that's because I feel confident in doing that. It's not because I want attention at all. Like, I will post a picture in a bikini right now and I could get two likes on it and I would still like it because I like the picture of me. Like, I, I'm not doing things to get attention. I'm doing them because that's what makes me happy. I, I keep saying me, but like I feel like that's a lot of girls' perspectives. So I wouldn't say that <laughs> if I were you. That's like saying, okay, never mind. I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop. Okay, well, um, I think I'm done for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I want to do a giveaway. Like, really bad. I really want to do a giveaway on either my Instagram or YouTube or both. So, definitely check out my Instagram because I have a feeling it's going to be on my Instagram. And if it is, it also could be on my YouTube, but, like, it's 100% going to be on my Instagram. So, give me comment ideas. What? What? <laughs> comment ideas of what you would like to see in a giveaway. Little, like, backstory. I was gonna do an Apple Watch. So I bought this Apple Watch. Well, I ordered it online. And then my friends were like, well, what if the person that wins has an Android? Or, like, someone wants it, but, like, they have an Android. That wouldn't really be useful to them. So, that is right, and then I was like, well, I already bought it, so that kind of stinks, but then something went wrong, and I got an email from Walmart, I actually bought it off Walmart, and they said that they didn't, they're not delivering it, and I got my money back. So, I feel like that was a good, like, sign that I shouldn't have gotten an Apple Watch, so leave comments below of what I should get for you guys to win in a giveaway. I want to give back now that I'm like on a roll. I am doing my thing on YouTube. I'm having the time of my life if I'm gonna be honest. I said that already in the beginning of this video I think. I don't know why. Like once I posted that video, I think it was two videos ago, my mukbang Q&A juicy, I told you all the details of my life. After I posted that, I'm like, oh my god, I can be myself. Like, I really can be myself on YouTube. Like, that's such a crazy thought. Like, it shouldn't be, but for some reason I was, like, holding myself back. I still am holding myself back because there's rules in my sorority and I really don't like that and um, yeah, that's a whole different story but I'm just gonna say that I am so happy that I'm back on YouTube. I post every Monday and Thursday. If you are um, a follower that like keeps on keeping on with what I post, thank you. But also, um, I took a week off last week. I was not having it. I was... Taking a little self-care week. Um, I needed it, but I'm back, and I'm better than ever, and I'm ready to do this giveaway, you know? I need to stop pointing. Okay. This video is over, so subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and peace. Love you.